Dude, it goes at you, Sam. Yeah. There's a lot here. It was out there. That was out there. That's how there's somebody laugh from downstairs behind me. I'm really uncomfortable. Did you hear that? Is that one good? You can't watch right on right now. Oh, the light turned off. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think it does that after a while. Oh, no, the battery. The battery fucking died. It died? Battery's dead. How? All the way dead. This battery's full. Ain't no fucking way. How? Ain't no fucking way. Is this recording? That happened with that battery over there, though. How did Remember, that... I put it in the camera. Yeah, it and then full. it... And, the, and this is the same camera. It's your same camera. We're supposed to be doing the history right now, guys, but... The ghosts are not letting us. This okay, so this light right here was fully charged, full battery, dead. All of a sudden, the light right here that's still full. Full battery. They've been on the same amount of time, same thing. His camera, he put a fully charged battery in it earlier, turned it on, went to recheck to make sure the mic was set up, and then the battery's dead and wouldn't turn on. Same camera. That's so uh oh. That's bonkers, guys. Um we've already heard voices and stuff tonight too. So uh -oh. Well, let's do the history quick. We're going to finish the history real quick so we can start talking to them. All right, guys, despite that little interruption, we're going to get into the history here of McIntyre Villa. It all started in 1827. A guy named John McIntyre was born in Ireland. He ended up emigrating to Kansas in the 1860s, and he formed his own small business. He was actually very successful. Yeah, he was so successful. He's actually responsible for building a lot of the business blocks here in downtown Atchison. He was a very, very prominent figure here. Now, he began construction on McIntyre Villa in 1889. It took about a year to complete at the cost of roughly $14,000. John's first wife, Alice, unfortunately passed away in the home in 1892. He remarried, and then shortly after, in 1902, John himself passed away in the home. Now, John's second wife, Anna, would continue to live in the house with their family until her death here in 1916. When she passed away, her brother Charles, who was a very prominent lawyer here in Atchison, actually took over the home and moved his family in here. During the time that they were living here, there's actual reports of a suicide taking place in one of the bedrooms up on the second floor. They remained in the house until 1927 when they then transitioned into a boarding home. When it was a boarding home, there's said to be a death of a woman named Goldie. She was found in a rocking chair. That rocking chair is said to move on its own now. But in 1952, it was uh, purchased by a well-known violinist. Her name is Isabel Altis. Um, she wanted to rehab the home into a single family home again, but unfortunately she didn't get that far. Right. She didn't quite have the funds to get it to where she wanted it to be. So in 1969, she actually sold the house, but before moving out, she would end up passing away inside the home as well. Now, one interesting thing about some of these deaths that had happened is this week is actually the anniversary for both deaths of John's wives, Alice and Anna, one being on Friday this week and one being on Sunday. So it's, it's kind of a weird timing of us being here for the first time ever. Absolutely. These are also some of the most prominent spirits in the home, so we're hoping to kind of connect with them while we're here. There are so many different reports of activity in this house. It's kind of your stereotypical haunted house with reports of disembodied voices, footsteps, EVPs, shadow figures being seen and captured in different photographs throughout the house. So yeah, I'm just really excited to see what we get here tonight. It's our first time ever coming here and we've heard some good stories. Yeah, so. and we've already been having stuff happen. So I think we just grab our stuff, we get into it and uh, we see who we can talk to tonight here in McIntyre Villa. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get it. All right, guys, here we are back with another video tonight. We are at a haunted mansion in Atchison, Kansas. We are at the McIntyre Villa. It is a beautiful, beautiful house from the 1800s. Obviously, you got me and Dylan here tonight, but we also have our good friend Mark, who you guys are getting very, very used to seeing here on the channel at Haunted Nights. Welcome back again. Hello, thank you for having me. A little bit different than some of the places we bring you. A little bit different. It's a very pretty place. Very pretty. That's the most different thing about it, I think. Yeah. No offense to the other places, but very reminiscent of Wilson Castle, yeah. right around the same time period, too. Yep. So, a haunted house. What are, your, what are your first thoughts on that versus like a hospital or a prison? I think it'll be more uh, family-based, obviously. Um, less, I don't know, it's, it's scary. Right. A lot more activity, yep. but a little less hostility. Yeah. Um, hopefully. Hope, well, hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Course. Yeah. But it's exciting. I like, I like the, the setup, the layout of the place. Yeah. And it's a relatively unknown location, which I think is cool, too. It's not something that is, you know oversaturated with investigations you know every single night of the week year after year after year it's relatively new to the paranormal scene and so it kind of gives us you know we don't really know what's going to happen 
her. We Absolutely. don't. I mean, she has her stories, you know, and they're well known spirits. But it's kind of a just go and see what happens where and see what you can get. So I'm I'm excited about that aspect of it. Um, what about you? What do you think? I don't know. Same thing. Like I'm hoping that it's more of a I don't know friendly environment rather than some of the other places that we visited. But a little change of pace. A little change of pace. Yeah. Um, but Wilson Castle has weird nights too. Yeah. So I guess we'll just have to get into it and see what happens. Figure out what's going on here in McIntyreville. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys. So we just set up a static cam on the second floor here. Um, we've been hearing some knocks. We've been hearing some noises. We're going to start in the basement, but we don't want to miss any activity that's going on. So we set up some REM pods down here in the hallway. Some of them have been going on as we were setting them up. So I'm excited to see what we can catch when we're not up here. The noises that we were hearing from up here while we were downstairs, unbelievable. Like so we, loud. it just distracted us for probably forty-five minutes while we were trying to get ready to go do everything else. Yeah. So I mean, we can't not have something up here if we miss something. So we had to put a camera up here, just in case um, nothing might happen. I mean, we don't know. Yeah. But we have the REM pods all set up. Mark checked them all. There were a couple going off. So we switched the spots of them to see if that does anything. There's one right there, one in the middle, and then one right down by the corner. So we have this whole hallway covered. But we're gonna be all the way in the basement. So this is the second floor. We're not even on the floor below this. We're all the way down the basement, so nothing. We're not going to interfere with it. No, you're not going to hear us. You're not going to see us. Nothing's going to pick us up. So let's get down there. Let's leave this stuff going, and uh, hopefully we get some cool stuff on it. Yeah, let's see what we run into. We're going to leave the lights on, too. Um, we're not going dark and scary. We're going to go just lights on um, because that's when stuff's been happening. We've yeah. had the lights on so far. Um, so we're just going to leave it exactly how it is and see if we can catch it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go do it. All right, guys, so we just got down to the basement here at McIntyre Villa. We're going to start out down here, kind of see what we can stir up before moving up throughout the building. Reports down here are mostly auditory stuff. So we get a lot of EVPs down here, disembodied voices, um, a shadow figure out in the hallway, though. So we're going to kind of focus on both areas. Um, it's a big basement. There's seven rooms down here. We're going to stand in these two rooms to start, um, kind of see if anything leads us out of this area and move on. We have cat balls kind of set up throughout the entire basement. There's a mel meter on the table here and another mel meter in that room on a chair with some haunted dolls. Um, we have some DR60s with us as well, so we can jump in and do some EVP sessions. But I think for the beginning of the night, we just kind of see if they're even willing or interested in talking to us and kind of see how that carries over. Right. I mean, we already heard noises and stuff, like right. just trying to do the history, you know. Right. So. so they were upstairs. So, I mean, the house is big and yeah. it does have a lot of history, a lot of different people. So we'll see what we get down here before. We move back upstairs. Cat ball just went off right here. Holy cat shit, that cat ball is going off. Oh, yeah. That's like a weird one, though. It blinks. Yeah, it's one of theirs. I don't know if you can see it if I turn off mine. But yeah. That's weird. Can you step away from that so it stops? Stop touching it? Nope. Stopped. Oh, oh. it started again. There's one in the wheelchair at the other end of the room. It's right next to the skeleton. Can you go touch one of those? Does the same exact thing. None of this stuff down here is going to hurt you. We set it up because we can't see you, we can't hear you. We just want to learn more about the house, its history, you, your life here. Could you make a noise anywhere in the basement to let us know where you are? Is that in that room behind you? I can't tell. I couldn't tell if it was on like those wooden shelves in there. Right. Or if it was something above us on the floor. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I heard it though. That was in here. That was in here. That was in here. That's definitely sure. there on that yeah. on that shelf. Do you want us to come into the side room over here? Can you make another noise? Same. Uh, yeah, that seemed a little Same. bit farther in that time. Same. Uh, yeah, that seemed Same. a little bit farther in that time. Yeah, that seemed a little Same. bit farther in that time. Yeah. 
Do you want to try maybe DR60s in this room? Yeah, let's step in there for a second and just see. That thing is awful looking. No offense. A little bit of offense. Much offense. Yeah, quite a bit actually. All right. Um, yeah, you want to do a DR60 in here? Yeah. I'm going to do it right here by this doll because you said this one swears at you apparently. Right. So I'll put it over here by him. Try doing maybe like a quiet one first? Yeah. All right. Scary haunted doll. Apparently you swear at people. So here's your shot. We're gonna record. You can say anything you wanna say, okay? Ready? One. That was right here. One. That was right here. One. Was it on that piece of wood on the wall right there? There's a, there's a. Did it like knock on it? It's like bolted in. Yeah. yeah it's, it's on there. That's weird. No, it didn't even sound like that. No. Huh. All right. Right. Ready? Ready? One, two. One, two, three. All right, you want to come over here? Let's see what we got. You can do yours first. That was a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah, hold on. Play that, yeah, play that again. That's all I caught that the whole time. Yeah. One more time, yeah. Pull, start that over. Le I literally that first Welcome part. Welcome to McIntyre? Dude. What'd you hear? Oh, Hold on. No way, it can't be. It can't be. Hold on. Have, put, yeah, start that over again. I hear that. I hear welcome back to your villa. Yeah, Come upstairs or something? Listen, listen I can't man. tell. Have Upst a good stay. Have, have a good stay. Have a good stay. No. Literally. Is that what that says at the end there? Did you hear that? Yeah, some noise out there. That was closer. Yeah. I literally think that's what it says. I think it says, welcome to McIntyre Villa. There's like that weird scream, and then it goes like, have a good stay. That's, oh, this place was a boarding house. It was boarding house, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Have a good stay. And then there's more. Yeah. Okay, that's weird, though. That's weird. One, it was that no, before that. Again. Before oh. that. Uh, before it started saying make it too real? Or? No, before I started counting it there, there's a little bit more, oh, but you can't yeah. make it out. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what this one is. I'm going to play that again. It's like whispering. I'm playing that again. First thing sounds like it says, hey. Yeah, hey. I 
don't know. It's so much quieter. Yeah, I don't know. That's super, super weird. I don't really know what to make about that. Mm -hmm. It's a strange... Uh, it doesn't make it your building. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That's strange. Yeah. All right, I mean, I don't know. That's weird. I feel like we should do a couple questions now, right? Yeah. In here, me. and then... Uh, maybe do a couple questions in here, and then maybe we can go stand out in, out in the hallway itself, kind of blank, try to get the whole basement, yeah. ask some questions. Um, and then, I mean, we're hearing all these knocks on the wood out there. And, here, and I can't tell if they're knocks on, like, the stuff in here or if they're, like, footsteps above us. Right. You know? Because yeah. that's what we heard doing the history. Right. And this is literally just, so this is just the bottom of the first floor, guys. Like, there's nothing else. So if they're walking, it's literally right on that. Yeah. Um, so let's do a couple questions in here, and then we'll try some out there and see what we get. Do like two each or so. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna still come over here by this scary little doll, but I'm not gonna squat down because I'm old and I can't do that anymore. <laughs> I could do it once. I had one in me. That was about it. You look like the Blair Witch. I do. Like standing in the corner of the basement. <laughs> if you were facing the other way, I would shit. Yeah, that's awful. That's scary. Yeah, yeah. you look like the Blair Witch. He just does like a back bend. I would pass away. I'm leaving. I'm not coming anywhere near you. Yeah. No if you do that, I will leave your ass here. No offense. Here we go. One, two, three. Did you just say welcome to McIntyre? Can you repeat that? Can you tell us your name? My name is Dylan. What did you used to do down here in the basement? How many people do you see in this room? Do you like having visitors? Can you tell us how old you are? One, two, three. Did you hear that? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I just heard that. Literally, right before I ended it. Literally, it yeah. Like, Did you hear that over there? I, I heard, well, I thought I heard talking in the middle of the session. That was weird. It sounded like it was above us. Honestly. Either right above us or yeah. like right over here. Muffled. Yeah. yeah. That was it's weird. Was out in the hallway too. Yeah, yeah, you could hear movement there. and stuff too. All right, let's play these back first. Yeah. That'd be cool if we caught it because that was like, so. yeah, that yeah. was bizarre. Catching Nothing too clear. Yeah. Right? A lot of noises out there. Did you just say welcome to Magic here? Can you repeat that? Can you tell us your name? Let's see. Welcome to Magic Villa. Sounds like it. Did you just say welcome to Magic here? Can you repeat that? Villa. Yeah. I can see three. Hold on. How many people do you see in this room? I can see three. That's interesting. I don't know. I was thinking when I said, what do you what do you used to do down here? I think it says work or work. something. It was like four words. It was just hard to make out. Let's move out in the hallway. Yeah, to like towards the noises? Yeah, just like stand, I think if we stand right out in that hallway, kind of in that main drag, mm. we should be able to hear a lot more stuff. Yeah. Let's bring, uh, yeah, let's bring the mel out and uh, put it just like, just in the hallway yeah, or something? let's see. Don't forget there's a cat ball on the ground right here. Yep. Do you want to stand just in the hallway? Yeah, I think we stand like right in this room, like this hallway room yeah. area type thing. I'm gonna put this over by the stairs. 
All right, so I'm resetting it, guys. Okay, there we go, that's all set. So that's right at like the bottom of the stairs. If there's anybody down here in this basement, can you please make a noise for us to let us know that you're here and that you can hear us? Like we said earlier, my name's Dylan. This is Steve and our friend Mark. All we want to do is talk to you and learn more about this, this house, your life here. We love the architecture. We appreciate all the hard work you guys put in to making this place beautiful. Is there anyone here who's willing to speak with us? Another knock in there. Good wrap on any surface down here. Let us know where you are. Footsteps? Yeah, it sounds like there's stuff above us. I don't. Stuff above us. I don't. Stuff above us. I don't. Really loud. Right here. That was definitely above us. 100%. 100%. You're upstairs right now. Could you come down and speak with us? We'll be going up there later, but we're down here at the moment. We'd like to talk to you. Let's do a DR out here. And then uh, ask a few questions, see if we can. And then see if we can move up to whoever's moving around upstairs, which has been a theme most of the night. Even when we were doing history, people moving above us. Like drawing us either trying upstairs to go. Or, yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah, we went up here on the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Find it. Yeah. Here it is. A couple questions each. Yeah. Okay. Ready? What's going on? Why is that? What's blinking? The blue LED. So cold chill. Blue LED on the left and the right. Which is kind of weird because it's not like it's. There's no air movement down there. here. There's no draft. Nothing. It's, as we say that. Can you step away for a second? Just step back from that device so it stops going off. Thank you. Oh. What was that? Thank you. Oh. What was that? Thank you. Oh. What was that? That was the room that we heard the cat, or we saw the cat ball yeah. in when we first got down here. We heard the cat ball. No, I, uh, I forgot where I was standing. Oh. So I got excited because I heard the noise, so I turned to point it. Look at it. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the wall. Impressive. I, I literally was like, oh. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. That's funny. Can you go back into that room with the chest right there and touch that cat ball? If you want us to leave you alone, you want us to go upstairs to whoever's moving around up there, touch that cat ball. We can leave you to work. Whatever you're doing down here. Another voice. Like did a female you, voice? Yeah. Yeah. That sounded upstairs again. It did. All right, let's do one of these quick. Yeah. Because whoever's upstairs is chatting. All right, ready? Yeah. One. Do you know who's upstairs talking right now? The one with my stomach tag, all of this. The one was my stomach, but that high pitch thing was not my stomach. Do you want us to go upstairs so you can work? Before we head out, can you tell us your name? Are you from this house? Or did you come here some other way? Do you know the current owner of this house's name? Definitely movement and stuff upstairs. I yeah. heard a voice again. Heard my stomach, obviously. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's moving upstairs. But I'm, I'm curious to see what we got. Do you know who's upstairs talking right now? 
That's my stuff. That's me tagging. Play that back. I'm, I'm from here. Yeah, I'm from. I'm from here. I'm from here. Yeah. I'm from here. I, the very last one, I almost want to say it said I built. It was like whispery. I built, I built it. Mm -hmm. So that'd be John. John McIntyre. Right. I don't know. Let's play this. Play that one back. Can you step away from that, please? I think so, right? So we're hearing stuff upstairs. We're hearing voices. Stops. We're hearing voices upstairs. Same thing we're trying to do in the history. We're hearing walking and moving upstairs. Yeah. The only time that the REM pod has gone off, so we're right around it. and it's we're by the stairs. Leading us upstairs. Trying to get us to go upstairs. Just as, I mean, it's like the same thing on the floor above us. I don't know why they keep wanting to lead us to the next floor up, right. but it seems like they do. Yeah. So I think we go up there. Let's do it. Um, I think we break out the double S's upstairs in yeah. this next. We can split the two parlor rooms yeah. and uh, we see who we can talk to during that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, so now we're on the first floor of the McIntyre Villa. So there's two very distinct stories of these sitting rooms here. Um, this one, the rocking chair that I'm sitting in, is known to move on its own. So I figured, why not just sit in it, see what happens, you know? Well, that's the chair that Goldie died in. Yes, that as well. Um, Mark is in the other room, the other sitting room over there. Um, the piano in that room is said to play by itself, so that'd be pretty cool if we could catch that. But this is where we're going to do the double Estes session. So we're both going to be putting on noise-canceling headphones, plugged into the spirit boxes, and we're going to repeat whatever we hear. So Steve's going to ask questions, we're not going to have any bias, and uh, hopefully we can get some answers. And we did throw a REM pod down in front of each room. There's one right here on the ground in front of Dylan, and then there's one on the couch in front of Mark there. Um, just for, you know, other sort of communication if they want to use that as well to verify stuff. So, again, they're both going to go under. I'm going to be by myself listening to all the scary noises in the house and asking them questions. So, I feel like we just jump into it, right? I'm going to see if I can get you guys to, like, almost interact with each other. Yeah. Be cool. Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Let's you do ready, it. Mark? All right, so you guys go right ahead. It's dark in here. I can't see. It's very dark. Here, guys, I'll show you what it looks like without IR. Ready? There's Dylan over there and no IR. All I can see is the lights from your box. Yep. Yeah. All right. So. Yep. He's good. You're good. Mark's putting his blindfold on. Dylan is going under. You good? Both of you under? Mark is under. He cannot hear me. Dylan is under. He cannot hear me. So now I'm kind of alone. Kind of alone in this house at this point, technically, because I'm the only one that can hear what's going on in the house right now, um, which is kind of scary. So we'll see how it goes. There he goes. He's good. My name is Steve. 
There's a lot of voices coming through. I can't even make out what they're saying. This to my right here is Dylan. This to my left is Mark. Hey. Go away. Hi. Hey and hi. Okay, so we got hey and hi. Hello. Can I have your names? We'd like to know who I'm talking to. Ask again. Can you tell me your names? Or your name, whoever it is that I'm speaking with? Like when I answer you? Yes. Yup. We love when you answer us. That's why we're here. We're here to talk to you. Mark? Yup, this is Mark. Exactly. So I can hear you when you talk through Mark. Or Dylan. He's, he can talk to me as well. Whatever you want to say. Can you please tell me your names? Oh my god. There was just a voice from upstairs on the second floor. Hello? Hello. Did I just hear you? Move down? Move down where? I felt like someone just touched my right arm. Oh, that was weird. Tell me about that. What? Are you guys talking to each other? Somebody said Dylan. Okay, so they've said they've each said their own name. Can't afford it. Can't afford it. So Isabel Altus couldn't afford the full restoration of this house. That's why she ended up selling yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was. Isabel, am I talking to you right now? Try me. Don't mess with me. Okay. Um. Can you see us? I don't care. Whatever. I don't care and whatever. Do you not care that we're here? Don't go in there. I was just thinking about walking out to the lobby, like the main entrance. You don't want any? Okay, I'll wait in here. I just heard a faint female like singing or humming, it sounded like from upstairs. Like a humming or singing. What do I do? I don't understand. What There's I... a lot of female and male voices coming through and they're like talking over each other. What uh, I... That was me. What was you? What did you do that I heard? Are you excited? Yeah. It literally sounds like somebody's walking Wait. down. Wait. My heart just stopped. It just it sounds like somebody's walking down the stairs. What happened to you? Oh my god. Or to him? Bad. Oh, it's weird. Warned you, warned you. It said it like two or three times. Both of us are here. Warned you, warned you, both of us are here. Um kids? It sounds like a woman said that too. Who's here? Who are the two women that are here?
I'm really uncomfortable right now. What do I do now? Could you give me your name? Wait for him? Wait for who? Help. Feels weird, guys. I just heard another voice. I just heard another voice. I just heard another voice. Oh my god. I can't wait. There's just... Why are we... There's just voices coming from upstairs. And, and walking on the stairs, I feel like I'm being stared at right now. By like 40 John? people. John? John. John. What's your... What's your last name? This Friday? This Friday. This Friday is the anniversary. Stop. Stop talking about that. It just got cold. There's a male's voice yeah. that's like talking yeah, under the static and it's saying a lot, but I can't understand what it's saying. It just got it's cold. It's like just under the static. Cold right here. And guys, there's heat in this house. It's not open to the elements. There's heat in this house. I want to confirm that you guys can yeah. hear. Yep. I want to confirm that you guys can hear me, okay? Atchison. Atchison, yep. That's where we are. Can you guys both? It's upsetting me. All right. I won't bring up the anniversaries anymore. I'm sorry. Again, we didn't mean any disrespect by it. Ashmore? But, wait a minute. Ashmore? Give my... I just heard a voice. I just heard another voice. Something about Christmas decor. There's a lot. Guys, there's a lot of Christmas. Careful. Oh, man. There's a lot of Christmas decor in here. I don't like the, the like, subtle threatening things, right? Like, I warned you, don't go out there, careful. I don't like that kind of stuff right now. So these men are in my home? We're invited. We were invited here. I just got full body chills, like super bad. It's Look, dark it's or the dark. Like I have. So oh my Hard god. To help. Who let you? I have such in goosebumps right the now. Basement? I have such goosebumps right now. Whew, guys, I am chilled right now. These goosebumps will not go away. Oh my god, I'm so uncomfortable. I don't know if it's some like weird vertigo sort of thing, but I feel like like the chair is being pulled back. Sense. Like someone's just like tugging on the chair a little bit. The current owner of this home, Stephanie, let us in. Everyone's here? Or everyone here? Everyone here, yes. We all have permission to be here. Unless there's somebody else that's here with us that I, I don't know about. How many people do you not recognize right now? How many people do you see that you do not know? Give me a number. Is there more than just us three it here? It sounds like somebody screamed it hurts. We'll ask it or it. ask him. Is it true that somebody took their own life upstairs? I really didn't want to ask that. Like I felt. Oh my it's God. gone. Guys, the footsteps on these stairs right now. It's me. <laughs> Great. Uh, thank you for, for coming down to talk to me. If you like the can, home. Can you tell me your name? Who, who just came downstairs? I love your home. It's beautiful. It's an amazing home. Stephanie, the owner, really cares about it. She's done a lot of work here. Don't torment me. Oh, no. Do you not like when people come here like us to talk to you? It hurts me. It hurts you. 
do you not want people to come here and talk to you at night? Do you wish it was just a home again? again? There's a lot of the same voices coming through, but it's like they're talking over each other. Or they're getting cut off. It's scary. It, it's scary when you have strangers in your house every night trying to talk to you? Extremely. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry I want that... him to... I'm sorry that it frightened... ...hear from me. We would love to hear from you. I'm sorry that it frightened you that we're here. We're not here to hurt you. We're not here to hurt the house. We're not here to take anything from the house. We're here to help the house. Again, we just want to talk to you. That's it. You can't talk to her. Who? I feel weird. I am the one or? You're still talking to John? John, again, my name is Steve. This is Mark. This is Dylan. To be honest, I can't talk now. Are you busy? He's by me. Who's by you? Steve. I'm by you right now? Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Hi. Here, I'm going to put my hand out. Will you shake my hand? It's nice to meet you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? There was a big bang out there. How to do this. This has been wild. Like, I can't explain to you guys the feelings in here, like the vibe. It doesn't feel like threatening, but it definitely feels like I'm invading somebody's space. It feel, it, I feel like I'm in somebody's home uninvited now. That's What's just... What's happening? Oh, uh, it's a lot of noises. Sunday? We won't be here Sunday. Something weird happened. Something weird happened on... To my... On a Sunday? To your what? I can't leave. You don't have to leave. Where would I go? You don't have, a, you don't have to go anywhere. This is your home. You can stay here. Stephanie does not mind you here. She, she's happy that you're here. We're happy that you're here. I'm getting up. Okay. You get... To go over here. Where are you moving from? Are you going to come sit on the couch here? Where do I sit? Right here. Here. Sit right here on this couch. Sit right next to this device. It's not going to hurt you. It just lights up. Here, I'll show you. Ready? See that? So like someone laughing. Oh. Sit next to it. Lights up. That's it. That's all it does. Watch him, though. Watch who? We're going to move upstairs in a minute towards the bedrooms. We're going to move up to the bedrooms where we've been hearing a lot of walking and talking tonight. Before I stop them from doing this... That was my wife? that we heard upstairs earlier? Is that what you mean? I'm gonna take them out of this, okay? So before I stop them, can you do me a favor? Please. Tell us. Okay. I would really like you to say goodbye. Both of you. Or what, whoever's down here. Can you, can you say goodbye before we go upstairs? You can come with us, but just so we know that you can I hear. I am something. You're going to come with us? Are you holding my hand? 
I'm not, but I had my hand out earlier. Do you want to hold my hand? All right, I'm going to take them out. We're going to move upstairs. We're going to talk to some people up there. You can come with me. So tell me. You can come on upstairs with us, okay? Please say goodbye, just so I know that you can hear me and that you're maybe going to come upstairs with us. Can you say goodbye? All right, I'm going to pull Dylan out. Um, and we're going to move upstairs to where we've been hearing all those noises all night long. It's been, it's been crazy up there from everywhere else. We've been hearing voices, talking, knocking, footsteps, crazy, crazy stuff. So we're going to move upstairs. I'm going to pull these guys out. Mark first. Yeah, forced to go back. Now i got to get Dylan. Hello. All right, I will fill you guys in, but uh, that was interesting. Interesting. That was interesting. So I'll fill you guys in. Okay. Let's get upstairs and see who's been making these noises all night. All right. Let's do it. If you guys are enjoying all the activity we've had so far at the McIntyre Villa, make sure you drop down below. Give us a like. Drop a comment. What do you think is the craziest thing we've had happen so far tonight? If we hit 3,000 likes too, we're going to come back and spend another night here. So make sure you give us a thumbs up. All right, guys, we made it up to the second floor now where all the bedrooms are. Tonight, we've been hearing footsteps up here, talking, humming, things getting dragged, dropped, all kinds of stuff while we've been downstairs. So we have a lot of stuff kind of set up that we think might, you know, allow us to see the movement that we've been hearing. So we have the EMF rope here going up the stairs to the attic so we can see if anything is going up or coming down the stairs from the attic. We have a REM pod or two down this hallway here, um, which we had set up earlier, which you guys saw with the static camera. Um, so we figured we'd do the exact same thing again, see if we can track any movement. And we do have our DR60s again. So I think because we've been hearing the audible stuff up here, the voices, the singing, all that kind of stuff, we're, we should do some DR60 sessions up here, see if we can pick up on that. Um, and just kind of go from there before we move up to the attic and finish it off where they have the skeleton that turns its head by itself and does all of these other scary things. Yeah, if that skeleton moves while we're up there, I think I'm going to have a problem. Yeah, I'll have at least two problems. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Maybe three. Hmm. We've already been discussing that if uh, Thomas here moves, we're all going to have several problems. And he's going out the window. Yes. Yep. He will have the biggest problem. But... Yes. Yes. Yep cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, I hope we don't. Hope we don't. Hope we don't get there. You hear that? Talking to you. Also you in there. No, room of death. Oh, there's a REM pod in there too, isn't there? There is. Hmm. All right, so I feel like we should move towards the middle of the hallway a little bit. Spread out maybe a little bit? Yeah, just a little, right? So. Yeah, you stay there by the doll. Yeah, you stay down here by all the dolls and the marionette doll. All right. In, yeah. the, in, the, in the attic. Thomas and I will be homies, it's fine. We'll go down here near the exit. Oh, they also have a cat ball on the doll, so. Cat ball on the doll. I forgot there was these two bridal mannequin things and then this lady sitting in here. How are you holding up? Huh. <laughs> I looked in the corner of my eye and it's like literally there's light shining in from this window behind me and it's just hitting like the dress. <laughs> I almost fell over. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I can't see. A damn thing. So we've been hearing you up here all night. Walking around, talking. Sounds like you're moving stuff. Do you need help with anything? Now that we're up here and we should be able to hear you a little bit better. Do you have anything you want to say to us? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. I like a footsteps. female voice. Did you hear it? I thought it was footsteps. I heard like a female voice. It was like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I hope this picked it up. Anna, is that you? Alice? Oh. What what just went off? Rope light just went off. <clears throat> the rope light went off. Could you tell which direction it was going? Up or down? 
Uh, only one of them went off. It was like in the middle of the stairs. How'd you get there? <laughs> Can you set that off again? Either touch that light, walk in front of it, do whatever you just did. It's not gonna hurt you. You just did. It's not gonna hurt you. You just did. It's not gonna hurt you. Did you hear that? What? Did you hear? You didn't hear that voice? No, I didn't hear it. I heard a, like a tick right here. Oh. What does it sound like? Oh my god. That literally sounded like a kid's word. Mama. What? I heard, clear as day, I heard the word mama. Literally, mama. Just like that. I can't believe you didn't hear that. I made my eyes water. <laughs> Me too. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't even tell. It was faint. 100% though. It was like no question. It said, Mama. Well, that's awful. Are you looking for your mama? Can we help you find her? It seems like you want to be heard. You're doing a lot of talking up here tonight. We have some devices that'll be able to pick up your voice so we'll be able to hear you better. If we take those out, we'll use them. There's a little red light on the top of them. If you come up to that red light and talk, we'll be able to hear you. We can answer your questions. We can try to help you. Is that something you want to do? If you'd like to try that, would you, could you knock on something for us? Just a, as a, give us a sign as a yes? Oh, roll play, roll play just one off. How many, just one? It looks like just one, yeah. You don't have to be shy. I know we're big and scary and you don't know us. But we don't mean you any harm, we don't mean to scare you. We're just trying to help you out. Did you hear that? What'd you hear? It's not like a knock or like a footstep? No. <clears throat> Are you downstairs and looking for your mom up here, but you're too scared to come up? You want to try them? I was going to say, I wonder if we're too spread out. You want to try DR60s? Sure. Yeah, let's... Because all the noises that we heard were when we were all together. You yeah. Know? Let's, like, centralize here. Yeah. Let's see what we can figure out. All right, so you guys got the DR60s ready? All right, so do we do silent or go right into questions, you think? I think we can just go into questions. Yeah, yeah, just jump right into it. Yeah, all right, a couple questions each, ready? Yeah. Okay. One of you two go for it, I don't. Three, right. two, one. Are you looking for your mama? Can you tell us your mom's name? What town are we in? Who have we been hearing walking up and down this hall? Do you know any of our names? We've said them a few times tonight. Where do you want us to go in this house? Let's see. Oh my God. 
I just panned the camera in there and I forgot that the mannequin was sitting in that chair again. Oh my god. <laughs> Look what it looks like on my camera. Ah, uh, yeah. That's... That gets me every time the lights are on. Oh, that's awful. Because you can't see any features or anything? It's like just the scary outline? Right. Huh. Shame. That's too bad. I'm gonna lose the last few hairs I have left. <laughs> that's for all you guys that say I'm bald, by the way. Oh. Be right when we go to listen back. Why? Do you mind if we listen? But like you said, we got together. Yeah. That's what I mean. I feel like they'd like us when we're kind of bunched up in a group. We're going to listen to this now, okay? Play that back. It literally sounds like it goes, her name is, but then it, it doesn't say anything. It doesn't. Are you looking for your mama? How's your mom's name? Atchison. So Dude, it goes Atchison. That definitely says Atchison. I That's crazy. I kind of yeah. like want you to play that again because that was pretty. That was pretty cool. Looking cool. Can you hear the her name is? It's like the is is super quiet. Yeah. Uh, that. Atchison. That was oh, pretty cool. Yeah. Solid. I mean, that's intelligent. <clears throat> yeah. It's an intelligent response. Right. That's wild. Let's see. Maybe. Did okay. you just hear that? Was it like an exhale? What was it? I went, but there was like a, a knock or a bang down there. Oh, just like that. Knock or a bang down there. Oh, just like that. Knock or a bang down there. Oh, just like that. Hmm. Yeah. That one's closer. Yeah. That one was closer. Can I play this back really quick? It's both times we went to start playing something back. First time it was a REM edge. pod. First time it was a REM pod. And then bangs. Opposite ends, too. I'm telling you, man, I don't know if they love people investigating here. They like the quiet. It's, it's, it's their it's house. Yeah, it's yeah. their yeah. house. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's necessarily like they think it's like a, a, a joke or anything, but they, they don't I don't think they want to be bothered half the time. Yeah. yeah. This is their house. Like in, intruders were like right. strange people. Mm -hmm. Literally, like, who are these dudes? Days. Right. Because when you guys were under SS, it literally said, who, like, who let you in? Who let you in the basement? Like, because again, it's one of these spots that's not mainstream. It's not. It's pretty untouched. Right. So it's still it's still relatively new to them. Yeah. They're not used to this. It's, it's so weird. 
It's, it really is like they do not want us in this house. That's so weird. Well, let's play it back. Let's see what they said at least. Play that back. Or something right at the right end. At the end. <clears throat> I don't know that. It's so weird. Because, but I guess it makes sense, right? Like, if they don't want us here, mm -hmm. they don't want to talk to us. Why would they give us any anything? Right. Clear. Super clear answers. Like, why would they give us their names? Why would they? Why would they oblige? Any right. of that? You know what I mean? Like, they don't. But it's like at the same time. The entire time we were downstairs, they're making noises. They're playing with the REM pod. Like we could hear it. But that doesn't mean they're the playing with the REM pod, right? Like could be walking by. Their they're day. doing about yeah. They're just yeah. doing what they do, paying us no mind. Right. It's interesting. They might not even know the REM pods are here. That brings up like the whole time slip thing and the right. parallel universe thing. They don't mean to set these devices off, but they're just walking by them. It's it's a weird house, man. Yeah. Because it's active. Yeah. I mean, oh, there's no. stuff going on. And there's definitely intelligence to it. Mm. But I don't think they want to interact. And it might be because it's our first time here, too. There's it could be a completely different thing. Yeah, I mean, when we're all spread out, nothing's happening. Because right. It's like, well, we can't move around. Right. Yeah. So we get here, and they can, like, they can get up and down here, right. go in and out of the rooms. Right. And, and again, like, if we come back here another time, another two times, like, it might be completely different. Yeah. They might end up talking to us more. You know, it's, it's the, our first time here. And you got to think, like, Stephanie left at, you know, 4.30. Yeah. And just left us here. She's been here the past five years. Right. They, they know and her. And they're like, who are these random dudes that you just left in this house? Yeah, right. This is our house. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's a super, super weird situation here. Because, like, again, then they do things where the skeleton turns its head and knocks its hat off and pops its eyes out of its socket, right? Like, Why would it do that if it wasn't looking for some sort of attention? Some sort of reaction, Yeah. right? And I think it's like almost different on each floor. Right. Gee, what was that? Caught on there. What? It sounded like a footstep above us. Up in the attic. Where we were just talking That's about. That's why I was leaning in here. It sounded like, like above this room. Right. So I wonder if this entire time they've been trying to lead us up to the attic. They keep moving us up there. All these noises on the second floor were just someone trying to get our attention. Right. And bring like, us hey, up. hey, and then the light on the, the stairs is going off. Yeah, because maybe you're right. Maybe the person on the second floor doesn't want to talk at all, but right. the person in the attic like, came hey, down. Hey, come on up, yeah. come on up, come on up. So maybe that's know. the next spot that we hit. We go up, I mean, that's it. That's keep the last spot. I mean, yeah. we go up there, and, and hopefully whoever's up there either... What you hear there? It's, it sounds like literally something moving around like up, up above this room. That's what it was like I footsteps. Can hear it like in here. Yeah. So I think that's just what we have to do: follow them up there, we, see what they want. We go up to the attic, see if we can make some sort of contact. We'll bring up a couple obvioses. Um, we'll try some some different stuff up there, some different equipment. Um, you know, we'll bring the DR60s just in case. You know, see if we want to use those. But I think we just go up there, we hit that area, and. And try to make sense of it. Like, try to make sense of this haunting itself. Because right now, it's super bizarre. Yeah. Not negative, not evil, just weird. Yeah. Like, very weird vibes in different areas of the house. Like I said, I didn't feel wanted downstairs. I don't feel like whoever's up here wants to talk to us. Not mean, just kind of like, I, Apathetic I don't want to be thing. bothered. Yeah. Like, I don't want to do it. Move away from where we are. Right. Right. Yeah. And one more upstairs. You know what I mean? Like, that kind of thing. I don't know. I think we, uh, I think we go up to the attic and see if we can get the skeleton to to move on its own, and and go from there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, guys. If you're enjoying tonight's investigation. 
do not forget, drop down below, smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we post all of our investigation videos. We go to hospitals, we go to prisons, we go to haunted mansions just like this. So make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss any of these upcoming episodes in this America's Haunted House series. All right, guys, we're in the attic of McIntyre Villa. Um, it's freaking freezing up here, so hopefully they want to talk to us. Um, they've been kind of leading us up here the entire night, though, so it seems pretty promising. We have a few flashlights set up around the room. Um, we have an Ovulus 3 and an Ovulus 5. We have a few cat balls set up as well that they have just on site. So, And Mark also has the FLIR thermal camera uh, going on his phone. Here, turn this off quick so you can see. So we'll pick up some thermal stuff on that. We'll check that out. That's Marco's arm. And uh, we'll go from there. Ovulus just said under. Under. So now they're under us again on the second floor. Probably, yeah. Or it's under 10 degrees in here. <laughs> yeah. It's freaking freezing. Oh, oh. oh, they said yes. What did that say? It was the three. Wave. Right? Wave. Okay. Hello. Wave. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? So that skeleton on the left um, is known to move its head. Yeah, it turns its head. It's knocked its hat off. It pops its eyes out. It does scary things. If you're able to do that for us tonight, if you're able to move the skeleton, knock its hat off, anything like that, can you turn that flashlight back on? Just twist it the other way, just like you did. Oh, that one's not able to Oh. If you haven't been able to hear us tonight, what did I say? Bible. Bible? If you haven't been able to hear us tonight, we are just here to talk to you. That is it. It's the only reason we're here. We mean no disrespect. We mean no harm. My name's Steve. This is Dylan in front of me, and Mark's over here. Again, we just want to communicate. We want to talk to you. We want to learn about the house, what it was like to live here or work here. We love the history and the architecture. So if you understand that and you're okay with it, can you turn that off all the way so we know? All the way off. Thank you. Okay. That's fantastic. And that oh, one's on. This one's on. So I wonder if this is the same two that's been following us all night. Right. One's telling us to get out. One is comfortable with us right. being here. It's off. Is that the case? There's one of you who wants us to leave. Did you hear that? What? Their footsteps. Over there? Yeah. Can you turn off that flashlight for us? You're not picking anything up on there, right? Can you make a noise for us? Flashlight again? Yeah. It's like going back and forth. I'm gonna keep listening out this door too. Yeah. Uh -huh. They're both on. Try to get them both off at the same time. As quick as you can. That one's off. I'm gonna open the door a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> I'll just stand right here. Can you shut that flash? Thank you. If you're down on the second floor, we've moved up to the attic now. Can you come up here? What was that? Yeah, what was that? Yeah, that was... What was that? Yeah, what was that? Yeah, that was... What was that? Yeah, what was that? Yeah, that was... What was that? That's something like came from your direction. It did. It sounded like it came from downstairs and the flashlight's on. Yeah. Oh, both were on. Hello? Here, how about this? If you have a message for us, if you want us to use the voice recorder so we can listen to you, pick up your voice, can you turn both of these flashlights off at the same time? We won't say anything. We'll let you have the floor. One's off. One's off. Same theme, though. Yeah. One person wants to talk to us, one doesn't. One doesn't. And... So guys, when we go to bed, we're sleeping in the house. What we're gonna do is we're gonna all 
sleep in the same room so we can have a camera on us overnight in case anything happens. Um, we're also going to leave a static cam running, I think up here, um, pointed at Mr. Skeleton over here to see if he moves at all during the night. Um, so we'll see. I mean, we won't know, obviously, until tomorrow if we come up here and he's got his head turned or whatever. I mean, the audio from the camera could pick up any number of things up here as well. Um, so once we're done up here, we're going to go to bed because it is late. Yeah, it is after 4 a.m. right now. Um, so we're going to go to bed here pretty soon, but we're going to keep the cameras running all night just in case something else happens. Um, it's been a weird night. Though. It's been a super bizarre night. Because uh, even just setting up when we were first getting here, we heard noises, yeah, footsteps, talking. knocks, all kinds of stuff. What do you say we do one or two DR60 sessions mm -hmm. and then uh, set night. up the cameras and, and start yeah. calling it a night, right? Cool. So let's do um, quiet one first. Let's do a quiet one and then let's do a one where we ask a couple questions and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to close this door a little more. All right. So anybody up here wants to talk to us, we're going to use those recorders that he was saying, okay? There's going to be a red light on them. You come up to them and talk into them. We'll be able to hear whatever you say. We're going to give you the floor completely. We are not going to speak. It is completely up to you, okay? They're going to count to three, and then you can come right up and start talking, all right? You ready? Three, two. Three, two, one. Let's play this back. Play again. Did you hear that? Yeah, it was like a knock. We're going to have to play that one more time, though. That was loud over there. Some light. Yeah, what the that, fuck was that? that? It was like a scream. That was yeah. Like a scream. Yeah, some light. What that, the fuck was that? that? It was like a scream. That was yeah. Like a scream. Yeah. Some light. Yeah, what the that, fuck was that? that? It was like a scream. That was yeah. Like a scream. And that sounded like came from downstairs again. Woman scream. Yeah. Let's play this. I, it sounds like it says I can't something. One more time. It's like I can't dun 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 dun. It's like there's a few words after, but I can't, I can't make out what it's saying. No, it's way too That's quiet. That's super bizarre. The I can't's pretty clear. But yeah. Like, trails off. Yeah. Let's see if we got anything in this one. Nothing really. Nothing really That's clear. quiet. All right, let's do one where we ask some questions, and then uh, we'll set up the cameras, and we'll, we'll call it a night. Yeah, let's do we'll it. We'll give them their house back for the night, and... Uh, See if they <laughs> see if they that like that. That one's for it, yeah. All right, ready? <clears throat> Here we go. One more. Three, two, one. If there's anybody up here in the attic with us, can you come up to the devices that Mark and Dylan have in their hands and say good night or goodbye? Have you had enough of us? Are you ready for us to leave you alone? Who is it that spends most of their time up here in the attic? Did you live here or did you work here? Why do you mess around with the skeleton? Do you not like it?
do you like the work that they're doing to try to save the building, this house? Three, two, one. All right, let's see. Last one of the night. Here's the beginning. It just said down, like go down. Clear. No. But yeah, the obvious did say down. As like, go down, be done. You know, like. Yeah. And this flashlight keeps turning on as we talk about leaving. Yeah. And that's what I mean. Like tonight. They've been very reluctant to talk right. to us. Right. They're. It's again. They're. They're. They're getting used to us. They're checking us out. You know, getting a feel for us, kind yeah. of thing. So let's see if yours. Let's see. Let's see. Let's say it before I even ask for it. Listen. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. It screamed it. I'll play it back. That screamed it. That is crazy. It's me. It's me. It's me. Yeah. It's me. See both. That would make sense. Yeah. But the, it's the same voice the whole time. Yeah. Every response is the exact same, like raspy, whispery voice. Right. Which we haven't really gotten anywhere else tonight. No. Just up here. That's not the commonality we had in the Estes method, though. We both heard like the same raspy, like yeah. older, yeah. gruff voice. Oh, yeah. That's voices. weird. Well, they definitely said good night. Yeah. yeah. Solo. Oh. No. Solo. Nope. Thanks, though. They hang up here solo, maybe? Like they're up here by themselves? That makes sense. Yeah. Well, Maybe they like their peace and quiet, and that's why they're. Let's uh, let's go grab the the static camera from up here. Yeah. We'll leave it positioned on the skeleton, um, and uh, we'll set up the other one, and we'll get some sleep. Get ready to get some sleep. All tonight. All right, guys. Let's <laughs> do it. We survived the night. Yeah. Um. So really weird night overall. Um, because they seemed like they were really interactive when we first got here. A lot of noises, a lot of voices, footsteps. Um, and then we actually got into it, and they seemed like they were reluctant to talk to us. Yeah, kind of standoffish. Yeah, right? and like, the, yeah, anytime we were separated, they kind of yeah. stopped talking. Yeah, which was weird. Um, you know, I think they were trying to get a feel for us, for sure. Um, they got, you know, a little more comfortable in certain areas where they were talking to us. Basically telling us they didn't want to talk to us. Yeah. Um, but when we went to bed, it was pretty quiet. Yeah. I noticed up here on the second floor, too, when we were investigating, um, when we were spread out, like you said, they didn't want to talk to us, yeah. but the minute we bunched up, they were a little more responsive. Yeah, for sure. So. It, was a, it was overall a really, really weird night. Um, active, for mm -hmm. sure. I mean, the voices, the footsteps and stuff, that was crazy. Um, excited, actually, to watch the camera back and see if something did happen while we were sleeping that we don't know about. Right. That could be cool. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I think it's definitely a haunted house. Absolutely. For sure. Um, I would definitely come back here. I think we need to. Yeah, yeah, I think we should. See if it changes. It, yeah, yeah, more used to us. See if it changes the next time. But we have more haunted houses to do, so... Uh, That's a wrap on McIntyre Villa. Let's get to the next one.